Are you serious? Are you serious? The media will not discuss this. They, they are calling these seven people conspirators. They are charging them with conspiracy in seizing the U.S. Wildlife Center in Oregon. Remember, Lavoie uh, uh, was shot and killed. Lavoie Finnegan shot and killed in cold blood. I mean, we all saw it. And it was a peaceful protest. I mean, how peaceful? It was extremely peaceful. But at the same time, I mean, it was nothing like what Occupy Wall Street? Are you serious? And what about the riots in Ferguson? You call that peaceful? And Charlotte? And Baltimore? And the slaughter of police officers in Dallas? All these people wanted to do was make a statement that you can't keep taking their land. You just can't keep taking their land. And oh, oh by the way, we do know that they took and seized using the power of the government's eminent domain. They took property from these folks. And with the mineral rights included, they sold the plutonium. Uh, excuse me, the uh, uranium through a company in Canada by way of Russia. We all know this to help fund uh, nuclear capabilities. Let me just read on. Here's what's going on. The six men and women charged with conspiracy in seizing the U.S. Wildlife Center in Oregon were staging a legitimate protest manipulated by the government through informants who infiltrated the group and a defense lawyer argued at their trial. Now, in protesting what they saw as a form of tyranny, the defendants themselves became victims of a government campaign to discredit and criminalize a larger movement opposed to federal control over millions of acres of public land in the West. The government is taking the land, according to Marcus Mumford, as he argued the defense closing arguments there in the trial. Mumford, whose client, Amon Bundy, led the armed takeover of the National Wildlife Refuge there in eastern Oregon, summed up the defense case in federal court in Portland, where Bundy, excuse me, where Bundy and six others have stood trial since mid-September, his closing argument followed the prosecution's summa summation and weeks of testimony by government and defense witnesses, some of whom took part in the 41-day occupation. "You are at the heart and lungs of liberty," said Mumford. He told the jurors during an impassioned presentation lasting nearly four hours. Only you can make clear that Mr. Bundy is not a conspirator, and none of these men and women are conspirators against the United States government. Earlier on Tuesday, the assistant U.S. attorney, Ethan Knight, countered that Bundy and his followers had defied the rule of law, turning the wildlife refuge into an armed fortress from which to press their political beliefs. The defendants are charged with conspiracy to impede federal officers through intimidation, threats of force, as well as with possession of firearms in a federal facility and theft of government property. We all know they were protesting their land being taken in eminent domain by the government. Their land possessing billions of dollars of mineral rights of which they were not going to be paid or confis uh, compensated for. Nobody, uh, this article you can find at my son's website. Bart Begley's got a website called The Crusader Journal. He is covering this article. Uh, nobody, and I mean the media is almost dead silent on covering this case. Yet Hillary Rodham Clinton, her e email server, private server outside the, the, the federal laws, uh, classified documents going back and forth, uh, quid pro quo, uh, deals trying to be worked against the FBI even by Patrick Kennedy. Uh, the server was wiped clean. The server, she herself deleted thousands of her emails personally. She did it. Also, they bleached some of these emails with a very expensive technology. And they even had guys with hammers trying to bust the cell phones and Blackberries and, and different... Um, uh, mobile devices, of which she said she only had one. 
She had multiple servers, multiple devices, and multiple approaches to get rid of the evidence. And yet some of the evidence is still seeping out, and it's so corrupt that it's unbelievable, yet the, no one has been charged at all. Yet these seven people are facing conspiracy against the federal government. Come on, guys. Are you serious? <coughs> are you serious? You see that flag behind me? Pray for these people. Pray for our country. Pray for America. Pray for your families. God help us all.